Hey, this is Chris and Lamb of God. You're watching Rock and Metal News. Hello, this is Johnny from Drop for a Cowboy. And you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News CD review of the new Corn Path to Totality. Uh, we're going to go through not all the tracks, but some of the tracks of the album. Um, if you're, uh, you know, a Corn sort of real metalhead fan, uh, you might not might not like the uh, electronics in this album, but uh, you know, it's it's pretty good actually. Uh, we're going to start off here with track number two called "Kill Mercy Within," featuring Noisia. Uh, it starts off with very cool guitar riff, kind of old school. Uh, gets into a real groove uh, when the uh, drums kick in and uh, doesn't have much dubstep in it um, but uh, sounds something like uh, something off take a look in the mirror um, uh, pretty good song the next track we're gonna look at is track number three called my wall featuring excision one of the slower songs on the album uh, it's very simple beat to it um, Ray, you know, is very laid back. He's very laid back, basically, in this whole album. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, really cool or uh, cool drum fills in it and stuff. It's pretty, you know, straightforward rhythms. Uh, the lyrics are really good in it, um, but it's pretty much a straightforward song. The next track is called Narcissistic Cannibal. A uh, very good song off the album, probably one of the best, featuring Skrillex and Kill the Noise. Uh, starts off with some keys, then it goes into some dubstep, drop, uh, almost sounds like a breakdown. Then we get into some uh, some of Jonathan's real cool lyrics. I mean, the album Jonathan writes really great lyrics, and the album's full of that, so uh, you won't be disappointed in any of that. And then Skrillex adds a ton uh, to this song, very, you know, lots compared to the others on the album. But uh, overall, pretty good, pretty good track. So then we're going to go into uh, track number seven, which is called Sanctuary. This is featuring Downlink. Uh, it opens up with some heavy dubstep. Uh, sounds like it could be off issues, kind of, you know, without the dubstep feel to it. Uh, very melodic chorus, uh, some good, uh, really good lyrics again on that. And then uh, after Sanctuary, we're going to head into uh, the song called uh, Let's Go, featuring Noisia. Uh, it starts off with a really heavy driving beat. The song continues kind of like this throughout the song. Um, one of the least sounding dubstep, dubstep songs on the album. Uh, fairly good track as well. And then we're going to get into track number nine, which is called Get Up, featuring Skrillex. And it's uh, the first single off the album. It's got some good lyrics in it, good melody. Uh, Skrillex filling between the lyrics as well, you know, some good stuff in there. At the about the 2:30 mark of the song, Skrillex takes over and uh, and drops some uh, real cool dubstep beats down. Well, Jonathan screams now and then. Uh, really good track, probably you know one of the other great outstanding tracks off the album. Uh, and then we're going to get into the last one we're going to review, which is called "Way Too Far." Uh, that one's featuring Twelfth Planet. Uh, it's really heavy. Uh, it's got some almost some growling vocals from John in the verses. Goes into a melodic chorus. Uh, it's a pretty dark and heavy song. Really sort of heavy, pounding beat in it. Uh, it's a very good, uh, very good song. One of the best on the album as well. And uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, heavy song. Sort of back to the roots. Well, no. So overall, this is a, a perfect. Corn is a perfect band to introduce dubstep to metal. Um, you know, they seem to be keeping it simple really heavy on this album while experimenting a bit which is really fits the band um, so you know it depends on the popularity this could be a new beginning for Korn uh, to see what their future album bring you know this is a sort of brand new start for them um, this is good uh, as one of, you know Korn's one of the first bands that's going to be mixing the dubstep with the metal so uh, you know there's not a lot of drum fills and really guitar solos and and heavy bass on this album so you know, if you're into that, you you know it might not uh, be down your your alley, but uh, yeah, it's, a, it's you know overall it's a good album, and I think they're going to gain some fans with this, and maybe you know some of the older fans, old school stuff uh, might not be into it, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll recommend it. You know, definitely give it a shot. Uh, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and thanks for tuning in.